So in question number six of this first exercise, we have a puzzle in which there is a multiplication product of two digit number with a single digit and the result is a three digit number. And as we see that this multiplication product consists of the letters A, B and C. So basically we'll have to find the values of these letters and we'll also have to give reasons for the steps involved. Now we also have to keep the fact in mind that these three letters would represent single digits. Also in the product, we have a two digit number and a three digit number involved. So we can say for sure that the value of A would not be equal to zero and the value of C will also not be equal to zero. Now let us study the product at the ones column. So this gives us the result that when B is multiplied with 5, we get a number in which B is at the ones place. Now this result is only possible for two values of B. The first one is if B is equal to 0 and the second one if B is equal to 5. Let us take these conditions one by one. So basically the first one where B is equal to 0, if we take this condition and substitute the value of B in the product given above. So basically we'll get A0 times 5 and the result would be CA0. Now if we proceed in this product, we'll observe that 5 times A gives us a number where we have A as the once digit and C is the digit at the tens place. So basically this is only possible if the value of A is 5. Now again if we consider this value of A and the value of B which is 0 and we put these values in the product. So we'll get 5 0 times 5 and the result is 250. So this completes the multiplication product based on the values which we have got. So just to record these values, let us put the values of A, B and C instead of the alphabet. So here we got the value of A as 5, the value of B as 0 and the value of C as 2. So this is one combination or one set of values of these letters. Let us now see what are the different set of values when the value of B is 5. Now again, let us insert this value of B in the multiplication product. So basically we get A5 times 5 and the result would be CA5. Now if we study the product at the ones place, so we have 5 times 5 equals, we know it's 25 where 5 is the digit here at the ones place and the 2 would be a carry. Now this will result in the equation 5 times A plus the carry 2 and the result of this is a two digit number where the units place digit is A and the tens place digit is C. Let us now see what could be the different set of values of A for which this equation is valid. So let us check for all the possible values of A for which this equation is valid. Now we'll divide this in two categories. We'll first see the values of A if A is an even digit. Because we'll have to check for all the digits whether this equation is valid or not. So the first value which we are going to take is if A equals 2. Now if A equals 2, the equation here becomes 5 times 2 plus 2 and the result would be 12. Now we see here that this value represents A and here we get a 2 which represents A again based on the position of C and A and this would represent 
C. So basically from here, if we have to write the values, we can conclude that the value of A would be 2 and the value of C would be 1. Let us check for the next even number. So if A equals 4, then the product results in 5 times 4 when added to the carry 2 and the result is 22. Now we see here that the value of A on the left hand side of the equation is 4 on the right hand side is 2. So clearly this assumption of the value of A will not go with the equation. Let us now see the next even number. So if A equals 6, the equation which we have here becomes 5 times 6 plus 2 and the result would be 32 where we again see that on the left hand side this is the value of A on the right hand side it is 2 and both the values are different hence this assumption is incorrect as well again if we observe the last even number which is 8 so the equation becomes 5 times 8 plus 2 and the result would be 42 where we see on the left hand side the value of A is 8 and the value of A on the right hand side is 2. Hence the this value is also not possible with the equation we have here. So we only got this combination where if A is 2 then C is 1. So let us now put this particular set of values in this multiplication product. So here we have taken the value for the second set where the value of A is 2, the value of B is 5 and the value of C is 1. Now this is the set of values we got when A is an even digit. Now let us check what are the possible values of A, B and C when A is an odd digit. Now here B is already fixed at 5 and let us check the different conditions when A is an odd digit. So basically the first odd digit which we can assign to A would be 1. Now if we put this value of A in the equation we have 5 times 1 plus the carry 2 and the result would be 7 which is definitely not possible as we should not have a single digit on the right hand side. The next odd digit which we can be assigned as the value of A is 3 and if we put this value in this equation. So 5 times 3 plus 2 and the result would be 17. Now since we have got a two digit number on the right hand side let us check what is the value of A on the left hand side it's basically is 3 and on the right hand side it's 7. So clearly this value of A that is 3 is not valid as per this equation. Let us again consider the next odd number which is 7. Now we have not taken 5 because we have already assigned that value to B as A and B cannot be the same for the same combination. So we have taken 7. Now in case of 7, if we put 7 in place of A in this equation, so we will get 5 times 7 plus 2 and the result would be 37 where we see that on the left hand side the value of A is 7 and on the right hand side it is 7 as well. Hence we can record this value that the value of A is 7 and the value of C is 3 which is the digit at the tens place. Now the final value of A which we can assign as an odd digit which is 9. Now if we consider the value of A and we put this value in this equation so we get 5 times 9 plus 2 and the result would be 47. Now if we observe the value of A on the left hand side it's a 9 but on the right hand side the value of A as per this equation would be 7. 
Hence, we see on both the sides the value of a is different. Hence, this result is also not possible. Now, just to record the last set of values when a is an odd digit and the value of b is 5, we'll again take the product and we'll put in the values where we see that the value of a would be 7, the value of b would be 5 and the value of c would be 3. So these are the different set of values which we have got. So in the first case, we had the value of b fixed at 0, the value of a because of that was 5 and the value of c was 2. The second case, the value of b was fixed at 5. As a result of that, the value of a was 2 and the value of c was 1. The third case, for the same value of b, that is b equals 5, the value of a was 7 and the value of c was 3. So these are the different set of values which we have got in this particular question. And this is how we are going to answer the sixth question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.